It's never been harder to spot one of these animals in the Kashmir Valley. Government census takers are counting how many royal stag, also known as Hangul, are left here. There were just 217 after the last tally three years ago. Over the years, why our Hangul population has declined? One of the reasons, one of the main reasons has been the grazing pressure. Nomads from the different parts of the different parts of the valley, they come and occupy the main grazing lands where our Hangul used to he used to parturate, where our Hangul used to give the birth to the fawns. Conflict has also played a played a role in the decline in the population of the Hanguls. The stag graze on land used by the military in Indian-administered Kashmir. Barbed wire and decades of patrolling soldiers have disrupted the stag's breeding patterns. The nomads say they too have been affected by conflict and have been forced to give up grazing lands. After the turmoil started here in 1990s, the Indian security agencies closed our traditional routes and pastures. So the nomad herders had to look for alternatives. The census team takes samples of stag droppings. These will be tested for viruses and parasites and help estimate how many stag are left. Seventy years ago, three to four thousand stag roamed here. Habitat degradation is taking place, habitat fragmentation is taking place. The human population, human habitation has moved very much closer to the wildlife areas and that definitely is one of the factors. The Hangul is the only surviving relative of the European red deer on the Indian subcontinent. The government has provided funding for a breeding centre that should be operational by the end of the year. But it will take intensive efforts to bring the royal stag off the list of critically endangered species. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.